Hi, this is Julie Sylvia Kalinj of Jules Carpoli the Command. Today I just want to share with you my favorite marketing strategy and it is visual marketing and blogging together, mingled together because without my blog, my videos wouldn't be really going so far. I like creating video as a piece of content and then merging it with a blog that I do create and then sharing the two together. I then like to create a PPT out of the video and create a script that I can share with my team, those that do not necessarily have resources to be watching videos, especially in Africa and some parts of Asia. Uh, so, so they like to just download a document and read it. So visual marketing is really my bag. Why? Because I'm quite artifacty. I'm artistic. I like uh, creating images. Uh, so uh, if you go to my blog on julescowpoly.com, you'll find that all the images over there are created by myself. I create them from scratch. Uh, they may not be great, but I think they are absolutely awesome. And um, I like to uh, make sure that that it's more original and I avoid having, you know, upsetting anybody for copyright issues. I also like to shoot videos that are professional and uh, just a couple of weeks ago we attended a mastermind where we were taught some really super tricks on creating uh, uh, videos and how to promote them to grow our audience. And one of the things we were told is if your thumbnail is, does not stand out and does not look professional, then you are going to leave a lot of people just passing by your video and thinking it's not really professional. Even if you're giving really awesome content and your thumbnail is not really professional looking, then a lot of people may just not even bother. So uh, one of the tools that I, I have always known and I have always known to, to create professional looking videos and, and thumbnails is Canva or PicMonkey. It, it's your choice. They are both free. They both have paid options. Canva has Canva for business. PicMonkey has a paid option, but they both give you generous free uh, options. So I'm just going to create uh, an, an image right here right now uh, that's gonna go on a YouTube video so first of all I just uh, make sure that the, that YouTube icon is there it really just looks nice on a YouTube video and uh, I don't know about you but I like to have things looking nice so I'm just gonna make that stand out I like it to stand out um, there we go okay but our little uh, YouTube icons ready and we're gonna get a picture, an image. Um, I've already created that one. I don't know if it will fit on the space that I have for it. Let me just just see if it will fit. I've created this in Pig Monkey actually. And uh, there we go. Um, ooh, what happened? <laughs> okay, I know what I did. YouTube, bring it down, bring it down, and um, I'll just bring a bit of text, just to add a bit of text to our thingy, it already has text, but let's just add a little bit more, one of these has to go. We need to bin this, thank you. Okay, I like this one. This is what I was going for. Why? Because there's already too many lines on here. So I'd like something that looks a bit curvy. And we can fit in a gap right here. And uh, change, the, change the text size because that's huge. Let's make it a little bit smaller, maybe 24. Uh, choose a text that stands out already because you're not going to struggle with creating uh, texts that don't actually stand out. You can make it already that's bold. And you can say uh, winning on YouTube. We can change that color to blend in with the rest of the colors. That's what I wanted to blend actually. Make it red. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I like that. I don't know about you, but I like that. Okay. Green on YouTube. 
and I'm gonna just increase that a little tinsy in the loop. Yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna match that to the other color. See how simple Canva is. Now I created this image in Peak Monkey actually, and uh, and it's just how to create awesome YouTube YouTube thumbnails. And I've created this, and there we go. So this in in itself is a tutorial in creating YouTube thumbnails. Now you're gonna take that image, you're gonna download it. I've created several of these images actually. You're gonna download them and save them on your PC and upload them to YouTube after you've uploaded your video. If you have an intro for your video, I have one but I kind of get lazy about putting it out there and I'm going to show you uh, depending on the time. I believe we're kind of running short so I'm just, while that is uploading, you can actually tweet your image, you can post it on you, you can, because you can actually link your image to your website you can link your image the whole image uh, in many cases if this image was right up there you could actually link it you can still link it if you wanted you can link that image add a link and add your website http and there you go that image is now linked so if anybody clicks on it on Canva, they'll be taken to your website. So once you've uh, uploaded that, you've, you've uploaded a video, you're gonna now add that thumbnail. Remember, we created a thumbnail. Uh, so, what's your favorite marketing strategy? I'm gonna find my images that I've created via Canva and add that little what I've just sold you a thumbnail. That thumbnail is professional. That thumbnail. Um, is gonna show up as as something that when somebody goes to my videos they're gonna enjoy. Oh, have I actually uploaded it? No. Yeah, yeah, there we are. Open that, and that should be the exact size because uh, YouTube video thumbnails are nineteen twenty by ten eighty. That's the perfect thumbnail size, and as you can see, it's perfect. Um, and uh, once I have, I don't want this to go public because it's a private uh, training. Um, I'm going to add the description. Like I said, you must always have a description. Sure. With us, so this video is done. You must always tag uh, market marketing track challenge. So you must always tag your video. I have not done any uh, keyword research for this video predominantly because, uh, uh, frankly speaking, it is just an assignment instruction, so I don't need to do anything special with it. But if it was a video that I was actually showing for training purposes, I'd make sure that I have added a that I have added a <coughs> I've done some keyword research and added those keywords in my title and in my description and in my tags. So here's my video. It's ready to be viewed. I put a professional looking um, a professional looking thumbnail now somebody would love that it's, it's showing somebody pointing to your favorite marketing tool blah 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 that's it video marketing does it for me thank you bye now